see some more examples in relative pronoun using who, whom and whose. The vacuum scared out our dog Scooby who was sleeping in the rug. So what is the noun in this? The vacuum. And uh, the vacuum scared out whom? The dog. The dog name is Scooby. Now you have to be very careful. The dog has a specific name Scooby. So if you see any specific name of animals, you can write royally use the relative pronoun who. So who was sleeping in the rug. So I told you, you can use who for persons as well as specific name of animals. So here the specific name of the dog is Scooby. So you can write who for that. Coming to the next sentence, the witness to whom I talked gave conflicting evidence. The evidence was very conflicting. So the witness is the noun. So instead of noun, you can write the relative pronoun whom. We are talking about the particular uh, witness, not anybody. So whom, whom I talked. I was talking to the particular witness only, not to everybody. So when we talk to a particular person or specific person, so you can write the relative pronoun whom there. Is it clear? The witness to whom I talk gave a conflicting evidence. It was The evidence was conflicting. It was confusing. It was arguing evidence. So you can write whom for that because I am not talking to everybody. I was talking to the witness, the particular witness or specific witness. So you in that particular case, you can write whom when we talk to the particular persons. So you can write whom for that. The man whose daughter won the tournament is a tennis coach. Here the noun is the man whose daughter. So and you can use possessive form form, form whose in the preceding noun. Whose daughter, the man's daughter. So it tells the relationship between the man and the daughter. And Whose daughter? Man's daughter. Is it clear? So when we talk about possessive relationships between persons and between things etc. We can use whose. And I repeat the, man's, the man whose daughter won the tournament is a tennis coach. Whom is used to denote the particular person what, to whom we talk. Not to everybody. Okay. Then whose is? Uh, used to denote the relationship between persons as well as things. So this is the concept for using relative nouns who, whom and whose. Examples in relative pronouns. My friend who lost the purse is sad. What is the noun in this sentence? Noun is my friend is the noun. Okay. Who lost the purse is sad. Again, I cannot write my friend instead of this who. Who is the relative pronoun. So, who denotes person, people. I have written who instead of the preceding noun, the my friend. So, my friend is a noun. Who is the relative pronoun? Lost the purse is sad. The man who is wearing a suit is a businessman. Man is a noun. Here relative pronoun is who. Again, it, it is substituted for the in the preceding noun. I cannot write the man. The man is wearing a suit is a businessman again and again. The man who is wearing a suit is a businessman. So the relative pronoun who denotes person in the sentence. The old lady who left the hospital is Mrs. Geeta. Old lady is the noun. Instead of the noun, who has come because it denotes the old lady noun. Uh, who denotes person. So who left the hospital is Mrs. Geeta. The house was built by a man whom many consider to be a great architect. So the man is considered as a great architect by the people whom we are talking about the particular man. I am not talking about everybody. I am talking about only the, the house was built by a man. This house was built by a man whom everybody consider him to be a great architect. So in this case, I talk about a particular person, the man. I am not talking about the men in the, all over the world. I talk about the particular man whom many consider to be a great architect. 
so in this case when we talk about a particular person we can write whom as a relative pronoun so this is a relative pronoun in this sentence and who is the what is the noun in this sentence man so this whom comes in the preceding noun is it clear i hope it is clear let us see some more examples also the girl who went to the stores drives a pickup truck okay so the girl is the noun the girl is a noun in this sentence we are talking about the girl again so i cannot write the girl again and again instead of that relate to pronoun who has come so who denotes person so instead of this girl who went to the store drives a pickup truck the next the dog whose owner let it run loose may cause an accident this is one more example for relate, relate to pronoun the here um, who tells about the relationship between the dog and the owner so it is a possessive form of who so i told you there are two possessive forms for who one is whom and the other one is whose in this sentence who shows the possessive form between the dog and the owner it shows the relationship between the dog and the owner so the dog whose owner let it run loose may cause an accident here the relative pronoun is whose dog is a noun and even and uh, owner is also a noun so this who this whose as a relative pronoun substitutes the preceding noun and it tells about the possessive form it tells about the relationship between the dog and the owner 